The Cold War, a time of tension, a time of fear. The world watched as two superpowers faced off, the United States and the Soviet Union. Both had nuclear weapons, the stakes were incredibly high, in this climate of mistrust, airspace became paramount. Each side sought to protect its vast territories, they needed to detect any potential threats. Early warning systems were essential. The US looked north. The vast, icy expanse of the Arctic Circle became a critical area. Soviet bombers could use this route, they could reach US targets. The US needed a solution, a solution as bold as the threat itself. The Soviet Union was developing new bombers. These were long-range bombers. They could fly high and fast. They carried nuclear weapons. This posed a significant threat to the US. One particular concern was the Tupolev Tu-95 Bear, a formidable aircraft. It could fly for hours. It could reach deep into American airspace. The US needed a response. This new bomber could strike quickly. It could evade existing defenses. The US Air Force needed a new interceptor. This interceptor had to be fast, it had to be deadly, it had to be capable of reaching high altitudes. The threat was real, the need was urgent, the US would not stand idly by, the search for a solution began. The US Air Force turned to its engineers. They needed a groundbreaking aircraft. It had to be unlike anything seen before. It would need incredible speed and power. This new aircraft was designated the XF-108 Rapier. It was to be a supersonic interceptor. It would be capable of Mach 3 speeds. That's three times the speed of sound. The XF-108 was designed for long-range interception. It would patrol the vast expanses of the Arctic. It would engage and destroy any Soviet bombers. It would act as a shield. A shield to protect American skies. The development of the rapier was shrouded in secrecy. This was a top-secret project. The fate of the nation rested on its success. Section 4. Engineering Marvel, Designing the Rapier The XF-108 Rapier was a marvel of engineering, a testament to the ingenuity and determination of its creators. It featured a radical design that set it apart from other aircraft of its time. It had a large delta wing, which was a distinctive feature. This provided stability at high speeds, allowing the aircraft to perform maneuvers that were previously thought impossible. It also had two powerful jet engines, which were state-of-the-art for their time. These engines would propel it to unprecedented speeds, breaking barriers and setting new records. The aircraft was designed to be armed with long-range missiles, making it a formidable opponent in any aerial combat. These missiles could track and destroy enemy bombers from great distances, ensuring the safety of the skies. They were guided by a sophisticated radar system, which was cutting-edge technology at the time. The radar was housed in the rapier's nose, giving it a sleek and aerodynamic profile. The cockpit was designed for a single pilot, who would have to manage all the advanced systems on board. This pilot would have to be highly skilled, trained to handle the complexities of this advanced aircraft. They would be flying one of the most advanced aircraft ever built, a true marvel of its time. The engineers faced many challenges during the design and development process. They had to work with new materials that had never been used in aircraft before. They had to develop new technologies to meet the demanding specifications of the rapier. But they were driven by a common goal, a vision to create something truly extraordinary. To create the ultimate defensive weapon, a symbol of technological prowess and military might. Section 5. A Race Against Time, Technological Advancements The Cold War was a time of great technological advancement. Both sides poured resources into research and development. The space race was one example. The development of jet aircraft was another. The XF-108 Rapier benefited from these advancements. It incorporated cutting-edge radar technology. This allowed it to detect enemy bombers from afar. It also had a sophisticated fire control system. This system calculated the optimal moment to launch its missiles. The development of the Rapier pushed the boundaries of aerospace engineering. It led to the discovery of new materials. It also led to improvements in engine technology. These innovations would have applications beyond the Rapier program. The engineers worked tirelessly. They knew that the fate of the free world might depend on their success. Section 6. The Untimely End. Cancellation and Disappointment. Despite the dedication and hard work, the XF-108 Rapier project faced an uncertain future. The engineers and designers had invested countless hours, driven by a vision of creating the ultimate high-speed interceptor. They meticulously crafted blueprints, tested materials, and assembled components, all in the hope of revolutionizing aerial defense. The political landscape was shifting, the priorities of the government were changing, 
Influenced by the evolving global dynamics and the pressures of the Cold War, funding and resources were being redirected to other areas deemed more critical for national security. The perceived threat from Soviet bombers began to diminish. New technologies emerged, altering the strategic calculations. The advancements in radar and missile technology meant that the role of manned interceptors was being reconsidered. Intercontinental ballistic missiles, or ICBMs, became the primary threat. These powerful weapons could travel vast distances and deliver devastating payloads, making them a more pressing concern for defense strategists. These missiles could deliver nuclear warheads much faster than any aircraft. The speed and efficiency of ICBMs rendered many traditional defense mechanisms obsolete, including the need for high-speed interceptors. The need for a high-speed, high-altitude interceptor like the Rapier waned. The focus shifted towards missile defense systems and other technologies that could counter the new threats more effectively. In 1959, the XF-108 Rapier program was cancelled. The decision was a reflection of the changing times and the new strategic priorities. It had been in development for several years. The team had faced numerous challenges and overcome many obstacles, but their efforts were ultimately in vain. A single prototype had been built, but it never flew. The aircraft remained grounded, a testament to what could have been. This marked a disappointing end to a promising project. The engineers and designers were left to grapple with the reality of their hard work being shelved. The cancellation of the rapier was a blow to the engineers and designers. They had poured their hearts and souls into the project, driven by a passion for innovation and excellence. They had poured their hearts and souls into the project. The sense of loss was palpable as they watched their dreams of creating a groundbreaking aircraft fade away. But the world had moved on, the threat had evolved, the era of manned interceptors was giving way to a new age of missile technology and automated defense systems. The XF-108 Rapier, once a symbol of cutting-edge innovation, became a relic of a bygone era. Section 7. A Legacy of Innovation, The Rapier's Enduring Impact Although the XF-108 Rapier never entered service, its legacy lived on. The Rapier was a marvel of engineering, designed to be a high-speed, long-range interceptor capable of defending against Soviet bombers during the Cold War. Its development pushed the boundaries of what was technologically possible at the time. The technologies developed for the Rapier found new life in other projects. Engineers and scientists took the innovations from the Rapier and applied them to a variety of other aircraft and defense systems, ensuring that the knowledge gained was not lost. The Rapier's radar system, for example, was adapted for use in other aircraft. This advanced radar technology improved the capabilities of many subsequent fighter jets, enhancing their ability to detect and track enemy targets with greater precision. Its powerful engines influenced the design of later jet engines. The propulsion systems developed for the Rapier set new standards for performance and efficiency, paving the way for the next generation of high-speed aircraft. And the knowledge gained from its development contributed to the advancement of supersonic flight. The lessons learned from the Rapier's design and testing were invaluable in overcoming the challenges of flying at such high speeds. The story of the XF-108 Rapier is a testament to the human spirit of innovation. It showcases the relentless pursuit of excellence and the drive to push the boundaries of what is possible, even when faced with significant obstacles. It is a reminder that even in the face of adversity, we are capable of achieving incredible things. The Rapier project, despite its cancellation, left a lasting impact on the aerospace industry and inspired future generations of engineers and scientists. The Cold War may be over, but the quest for technological superiority continues. The innovations and advancements made during that era still influence modern military and aerospace technology. The XF-108 Rapier stands as a symbol of that quest. It represents the drive to achieve technological excellence and the determination to overcome challenges in the pursuit of progress. It is a symbol of our relentless pursuit of knowledge and our determination to push the boundaries of what is possible. The legacy of the Rapier lives on in every new aircraft that takes to the skies, a testament to the enduring impact of innovation.